Hello and welcome to America's Heartland. I'm Paul Ryan. All you have to do is pull up to the gas pump today, check out the prices, and it probably won't take much to convince you that America's dependence on foreign oil is a growing problem. Most will agree it's not great for our national security, and it sure stings the old pocketbook. Lots of folks are working on developing alternative fuels, but one in particular is gaining momentum. Ethanol, made from corn, American corn. And though not everyone agrees it's the best solution, a recent visit to Wyoming suggested a growing number of entrepreneurs, automakers, elected officials, farmers, and even race car drivers are jumping on the ethanol bandwagon. Just before driver Bill Percival pulls up to the starting line in his dragster, he fills up his fuel tank with corn. Not literally, of course, but Bill's dragster and a number of others at this Denver Speedway run on ethanol, a gasoline alternative that's produced by fermenting corn. One of the main advantages to using ethanol is that it burns so much cooler, and in this type of racing, there's a lot of times where we have to go around and around, and we don't have time to cool off the engine. By using ethanol, the engines don't overheat. Race cars aren't the only vehicles using ethanol. Many farmers have used it for years to power farm machinery. And with more stations selling it, many drivers are trying it for the first time. Dozens of models of flexible fuel vehicles can use E85, 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. E10 has a 10% ethanol, 90% gasoline mix, a formula that's been approved for use by every major car maker. With the new renewable fuel standard, um, you know, 8 billion gallons of, of ethanol by 2012, that's more than doubling of, of what's being produced today. So uh, I think it's a bright future for the corn market. Dan Schwarzkopf directs production operations at Wyoming Ethanol in Torrington, near the Wyoming-Nebraska border. The plant brings in dried corn, grinds it to a powder, then ferments the mash in a chemical process, much like distilling whiskey. When completed, the process creates ethanol, a form of alcohol that burns like gasoline. In 2005, the industry produced almost 4 billion gallons of ethanol, consuming 1.43 million bushels of corn. I take as much as I can from my rural growers here in Wyoming, and then the, the balance of that is taken in from a radius of about 150 miles uh, into the Nebraska Panhandle and, and uh, southern South Dakota. Ethanol use and production have increased dramatically in the past two years, thanks to new marketing efforts along with state and federal subsidies. Many consider ethanol to be beneficial in reducing carbon monoxide and other auto emissions. However, it is not a fuel without controversy. Conflicting studies have addressed everything from its energy content to its production costs versus a gallon of gasoline. Not only do we feed the distiller's grain, but ever since the d ethanol plant uh, came into production in Troynton, we've used gas a hull through all of our vehicles. Blake Oxner and his dad, George, are ethanol supporters. They say consumers benefit by using American products and easing our dependence on foreign oil. There's also a personal benefit. The corn mash left over from ethanol production, called distiller's grain, can be used for cattle feed. We were looking for a, a good feed to supplement the straw, and this distiller's grain uh, really worked in that, that situation. About one-third of all the corn that we take in goes back out in the form of the distiller's grain behind me that goes back to those feedlots. Wyoming Ethanol's John Callahan says distiller's grain has other benefits. It's considerably more nutritious. Uh, when, it, when it leaves here, it's running about a, a 32, 33 percent protein where normal corn is running about an 8 percent protein. Currently, ethanol fuel is easier to find in the Midwest and Plains states, close to the corn from which it's made. That may change with new federal mandates on air pollution and energy production. And to up the profile, Wyoming Ethanol is promoting the fuel with a five-car drag racing team. The cars compete for national honors at tracks across the country. Dan Schwarzkopf says it gives the fans a chance to see ethanol in action. They leave the racetrack, they stop and fill gas, they see ethanol on the pump. They remember the car that ran really good going down the racetrack on ethanol and say, maybe this isn't so bad, maybe it'll make my car run better. 